Hello, we're here at Emerson House. Um, I'm here with Jane Emerson. Jane is the head of the centre. Uh, she's also a very well respected uh, practitioner in the field of dyslexia in London. Uh, Jane, I just want to read a definition of dyslexia from the BDA handbook uh, and just see whether you agree with it. Um, dyslexia is a specific learning difficulty that mainly affects the development of literacy and language related skills. It is likely to be present at birth and to be lifelong in its effects. It is characterised by difficulties with phonological processing, rapid naming, working memory, processing speed, and the automatic development of skills that may not match up to an individual's other cognitive abilities. It tends to be resistant to conventional teaching methods, but its effects can be mitigated by appropriately specific intervention, including the application of information technology and supportive counselling. Jane, is this a definition that you agree with? Well, there have been many definitions over the years, and the points made there generally do encompass most of the main points. Um, so it's a very good starting point for beginning to understand what dyslexia is. And, um, I mean, is it a disease? Can, can one catch dyslexia? Is that a useful way of thinking about it? Um, well, some people do feel a little nervous when they hear about it, but you certainly can't catch it. Um, however, it does seem to be inherited. Um, but we're at the early stages of understanding all this because although it is a genetic condition, we don't really know which genes are involved. It seems to be a disease that affects more boys than girls. A, is that accurate? B, why might that be? Well, once again, it isn't really a disease, but right. it's certainly a condition right, okay. that does affect more boys than girls. Um, this also isn't uh, very well understood. Um, certainly boys are more susceptible to developmental problems in early language development and once again we don't really understand why. There have been various theories over the years wondering if it's to do with an imbalance of testosterone in the womb or things like that. But really um, nobody's got the, the answer to, to that. But certainly there are a lot more boys than girls. and. Quite often when girls are dyslexic, they don't seem to be as severe as many boys for some reason.